Hello dear student, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see a practical from computer application in pharmacy, which you have in second same of first year. So the practical number five, that is to create a database in MS Access to store the patient information with required field using access. So we will see step by step the practical. Like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. So what is actually an MX Access? So MS Access is an relational database. The database is a collection information that related to a particular subject or a purpose, such as tracking a patient information. So when we create a patient information, we can find out or track the patient information. Like we will see the fields, uh, how to uh, create that fields of a patient information also. And uh, how can we track any patient with the help of this MS Access. So there are some characteristics of database. It is self-describing. Self-describing means like in our case, like first name, middle name, last name, gender, ID, uh, its address, mobile number, so that it gives a self description about the, the database. Multiple users can access the same data. Uh, data exists permanently. Once you record the file, uh, once you save the file, that record will uh, exist permanently. And it has been protected by using passwords also. The passwords can be also given to the database. So unauthorized person cannot access it. So these are some characteristics of a database. Now we will see an actual how to create that database in MS Access. Now I am on my desktop screen and right click right and you will find that in new. So we have to open a document. So here it is Microsoft Access Database. Uh, so go in that option. And here it is a new file. Actually, if you see, uh, not all the pieces, they will have this Microsoft Access. Uh, like otherwise, you will have this um, micro, this PowerPoint, Excel, uh, Microsoft Word. This you might be having, but uh, most of the students or like not all the computers will have this Microsoft Access Database. Uh, so make sure that your computer it is updated or it is having a license key then only you can access this once you come in a access now go on option that is create so enable the content and go on the create option so once you uh, you can see in the create there are table so click on tables so in such way uh, now table will appear so we in view on the left corner in the view just click on the view and design view so design view once you click on the design view we can give the name for the table so i will write the year patient information patient information so click on ok and now see this table it is having a name that is patient information now there are certain fields that we have to uh, introduce for a patient information so first one is ID uh, so remember that I will make it a primary key that is ID so primary key uh, it will be my uh, ID so you can see that tab it is having a primary key now after that I will type first name of the patient first name just first name after that last name means it will be a surname after that for more information i will write middle name and now i will write i will require that point that is gender after that i will require date of birth DOB I will write it after that some more information like address zip code or 
or pin code you can say after that mobile number or contact number i will write your mobile number after that consulting physician i will write consulting doctor instead of that and you can add many more fields uh, as required so you are like uh, which doctor has referred you now see in the database uh, here it is a data type these are now field name these 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 will appear for an each and every patient so data type like uh, ato number so the id it will be converted uh, it will be constituted as an ato number first name it should be in text last name it should be also in text middle name it should be also in text for gender if uh, i need two only option two or three options so i will click here and scroll it down look up the wizards so don't go at any option over here like here it is yes no I means uh, patient whether he has visited last time yes or no so you can make uh, such kind of an data types so i require a data type that is look up wizard uh, so i will go on that look up wizard and i need male and female so click here i will type in the values that i want so there is no need of suggestion or any other query and type here like uh, i will type here firstly male uh, after that female so these are the two things that i will require if required you can add one more that is transgender and just finish it don't click on anything just finish it later on we will see how it appears uh, after the date of birth so date of birth it should not be in a test uh, so it should be in a date so click on the date in data type Uh, so we will have a letter on it uh, like address so address you can type the address uh, so it should be a short test a zip code zip code it will be always a number so i will uh, click on data type that is number mobile number so i will click on the mobile number so it should be a number again uh, i will write a large number after that consulting doctor so you can uh, add the name of the doctor so i will add name of the doctors like i will add three names of the doctors which uh, are available in the hospital uh, so i will write here by going in the label wizards in the wizards so i will write here like doctor pawar so first one is doctor pawar and next one is doctor savant suppose next is dr pagar so i will write only three names uh, just three so these are three doctors working in my hospital after that which doctor has referred you to the consulting doctor so i will again come in the look up wizard and i will write some names of the doctors which are referring to the main doctors like here i will write dr kunde after that dr potade suppose dr dolas after that dr kaikar So these are some names of doctors that they will refer like doctor doctor sandeep doctor kiran so these are some doctors that are referring so press on the next and finish it now once you uh, do all this now go in a home and in the home you can see that the sheet view it uh, come on the view and now see data sheet view on the left corner click on it 
so click on s so you can see these are the fields that we have generated like i will write here uh, i will uh, put some information of a patient like uh, a patient name the first name it is actually sandeep and last name it is patil and suppose Madhukar is his father name. Now, in case of gender, you can see that we have are having only two options, male or female. So I will here put a male. Date of birth, you can see that we have uh, in the data type. So we have selected the date of birth. So I will randomly select the date of birth. Like you can select it uh, by this option. After that, address. So address uh, put it in a short. So I will write it Rahata year. As zip code, so zip code it will be a number. So I will write zip code and here suppose we require mobile number and consulting doctor. Now here consulting doctor like Dr. Savan is here and who has referred to you uh, like suppose Dr. Kiran has referred and if any more information is required click here to add now in this way you can uh, prepare um, uh, patient information data so i will show uh, here two more data that i will fill in this way you can fill it so just click on new and you will come for the next window now so now here i have put three uh, patient name and just click on new if you want to create more and these are some details so these details uh, that i have entered so similar way you can enter the details of the patients by this way you can finish this practical of creating a patient information in mx access database and further practical it will be based on the same just it is a further how to create now how to print this data so i will let you know in the next practical so thank you for watching the videos if you are having any doubts please comment me in a comment box surely i will answer it